Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this resistive network, and here we have been asked to find the equivalent resistance which is seen across the terminals A and B. So as you can see over here, all the resistors are identical, and their value is equal to 300 ohm. So now let us find the equivalent resistance which is seen across the terminals A and B. So at a first glance. If you see the circuit, then it seems little bit complicated circuit. But actually, if you see, then it consists of three western bridge. So this is the first western bridge, this is the second western bridge, and this is the third western bridge. So if you see the center portion of the circuit, then it clearly appears as the western bridge. But similarly, this first and the third portion is also western bridge, because if you see over here, then these two resistors are connected at the one end. While in between, this resistor R is connected, and similarly, these two resistors are also connected at the one end, and the remaining two arms are connected between the resistor. And the same thing also happens for the third portion. That means this circuit consists of the western bridges. Now, for the western bridge, if the product of the resistance of the opposite arms are equal, or in other words, if this R A times R C is equal to R B times R D. Then we can say that the voltage at these two nodes are equal. That means if this condition satisfies, then this voltage V A is same as the V B. Or we can say that if there is any element connected between these two terminals, then the no current will flow between the two terminals because in this condition both the nodes are at the same potential. So in this case, if you see. And the resistance of all the arms is equal to R. So we can say that all the three western bridge in the circuit are the balance bridge. So if we see the first western bridge, then here these two nodes are at the same potential, and therefore no current will flow through this resistor R. Likewise, if we see the second western bridge, then once again it is the balance bridge. That means for the second bridge also, these two nodes will be at the same potential. And therefore, no current will flow through this resistor R. And likewise, for the third western bridge also, no current will flow through this resistor R. That means we can say that all these nodes are at the same potential. And therefore, no current will flow through these three resistors. And due to that, it doesn't matter whether these resistors are present in the circuit or not. So for our simplicity. We can directly remove these three resistors from the circuit, and here, all these nodes are at the same potential. So, for our simplicity, let us draw one line over here. So, this line represents the equipotential line. That means the potential at all the nodes in the line are the same. So, if you see all the resistors just above this line, then one arm of all the resistors is connected at this node, and likewise. Since all the nodes are at the same potential, so their second terminal are also connected at the same node. So we can say that the six resistors are connected in the parallel connection. So as you know, when the n resistors are connected in the parallel, and if resistance of all the resistors are same, then the equivalent resistance is equal to R divided by n. So here, since we have a six resistors connected in the parallel connection. So their equivalent resistance will be equal to R divided by six. Likewise, if you see the bottom portion of the circuit, then here also the six resistors are connected in the parallel connection, because here the one arm of all the resistors is connected at this node, and similarly the second arm is also connected together. That means at the bottom portion also the six resistors are connected in the parallel connection. That means their equivalent resistance. Is equal to R divided by six. So with the simplification, if we see the equivalent circuit, then we will have the two resistors of the R by six. That means if we see the resistance between the terminal A and B, then that is a series combination of the these two resistors. That means the R A B is equal to R by six plus R by six, and that is equal to R by three. And here the value of the resistor R is equal to three hundred ohm. That means the value of the R A B, or the equivalent resistance between the terminal A and B, is equal to 100 ohm. So from this we can say that the resistance of the network 
बिटवीन द टर्मिनल ए एंड बी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड ओम